Side slam there, goes for a pin. Oh, and Peter Avalon just gets wow. his shoulder up at two and wow. three quarters. Kahuna, how about it? Avalon had to go into his reserves for that one. Madrid had him dead to rights. Somehow he was able to kick out. Oh, look at this now. Madrid raking the eyes of... Or, I'm sorry, Peter Avalon raking the eyes of Nick Madrid. And now Madrid reverses out of whatever Peter was setting him up for. Kick to the gut. A big implant DDT. This could be it. Wait, 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 what's this? The king of strikes has hit the ring. And he is... What is Brandon Parker doing He's here? saving his tag team partner, Peter Avalon. He just dragged Nick Madrid. But He's Avalon's doing history. fine. And now cover. Look at this. Rolls him up. And Peter Avalon gets the win over Nick Madrid with an assist from his partner, Peter Avalon. To be honest with you, I'm not quite sure why Chris Massey didn't call for a disqualification there. Peter Avalon interjected himself, or Brandon Parker, I'm sorry, interjected himself with the matchup. Physically laid hands on Nick Madrid and drug him off. And that's that's a DQ in the NWA rulebook. Seems like it would be DQ, but Chris Massey didn't call it. Instead, Nick Madrid took his eyes off the prize, turned his attention to, Pete, to Brandon Parker, and got rolled up by Peter Avalon. A little retribution for pretty Peter Avalon. Thanks to Brandon Parker, the king of strikes, and Nick Madrid does not look happy about it. Yeah, he's seen nothing but stars right now in that head of his. Goes for a suplex. Morgan ducks over. Oh, Morgan over, woke rather. up. Goes right, locks in that chicken wing. And here's Peter Avalon. Peter Avalon now on the apron. Morgan stupidly drops the chicken wing. He should have kept it locked in. What is going on here? Boot to the gut. And now, there is Nick Madrid. Now Nick Madrid's got no business out here. Why is Nick Madrid out here? Get out of here, Parker. I've never seen Peter Avalon run that fast. No, no. Now he's in the Avalon ring. Avalon in the ring now. Here comes Ducks Madrid. Out. Oh, yeah, look at this. Boom. Big oh, Avalon. What the super duper! Peter Avalon and Brandon Parker outsmarting Morgan again, rolls him up. But no, Madrid comes in, rolls Morgan on top. Referee, how are you kidding me? me? Referee, oh, how are you kidding me? How does that happen? How does that happen? Nick Madrid came in, rolled James Morgan on top. The referee turned around, saw him in the ring. I didn't know that's what was going on, but counted to three anyway. James Morgan steals one from Brandon Parker, the king of strikes. How about this? I feel bad for Brandon Parker. That was a screw job right there. And I guess tonight is no DQ night. But no, you're playing this now. Ring. The bullies. The bullies waiting for the back of the Cheap shots. Avalon and Parker are now. Well, I guess Nick but I guess this is Avalon is. I guess this is Nick Madrid's way of making it up to James Morgan for losing that matchup at Wrath of Khan. Mach 1 Pro Wrestling, Pretty Peter Avalon, the King of Strikes, Brandon Parker. Ow, man. Brandon Parker, you know what? He's a little frustrated tonight because a little plan didn't go. It went a little awry. And, whoa, I'm sorry. And he didn't get... Because you're a jackass, that's why. He didn't get the win over uh, James Morgan. It's but fine. tonight, it's okay. It's okay. Nick Madrid, you're all about running to the bulls. But tonight, I got the better of you. I ran all over you and got the one, two, three. And that's all that matters, baby. James Morgan, Nick Madrid, Brandon Parker, Peter Avalon, we got your number, baby. Come on. Peter Avalon and Brandon Parker, they say they have our numbers. I didn't give them my number, did you? I'm unlisted. I really hope they don't call. All jokes aside, you know, they say the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. Brandon Parker, pretty Peter Avalon, you had a plan tonight didn't work out for you, did it? We've got plans of our own. Our plans? Nick Madrid and James Morgan? We're a tag team now. Tonight proved yet again that we have each other's backs. And tonight also proved that we are worthy contenders to be a true tag team and to move all the way to the top ranks of M1W in order to get the tag team championship belts around our waist. And 1W, you've been warned. This is smart, waiting for Kyle Webb to get back to his feet. Not a good idea, he could have gone in right for the kill, O'Shea. You're letting him off the noose. Mikey now scoops him up. Goes for Snake Eyes in the corner, but Kyle drops down behind him, sends Mikey into the corner, catches him with those big knees, that signature move of Kyle Webb. And now, Mikey's prone up to the top. Big springboard elbow, hook of the leg, and almost
just got Mikey O'Shea right here. Two and three quarters, Mikey gets a shoulder up. Webb has so much talent, power, speed. Why didn't he stay with David yeah, Choi? Yeah, no guidance, no focus. That's going to be his detriment, if anything. That's one of the worst career moves I've seen in this business in a long time. Mikey now up. Look like that crucifix destroyer from Mikey, or Kyle Webb rather, but he got caught by Mikey Callahan who hoists him up across his shoulder. Nice now in front. Big sidewinder slam from Mikey. Goes that for the cover idea. two. And good night, Kyle Webb. Mikey O'Shea is victorious again with big sister Lucky at ringside. This aggression from Mikey O'Shea. I said it for months, Kahuna, in this game. Mikey O'Shea was concerned about this man and got a little bit of fire in his gut. He could be a force to be what reckoned with here at Mach 1. And it looks like my predictions paid off. That's exactly what Mikey, see what I can do for you? You help me win, I help you win. It's a fair trade, right? Am I right? Isn't it the best thing ever to have me in your corner? Yeah. Anyway, it is. It's the best thing ever to have me in your corner. When I'm in Mikey's corner, he's going to win. When Mikey's in my corner, I'm going to win. And that's just it. We're brother and sister, and we're going to keep beating everybody that comes in our way. Right, Mikey? Yeah, right, Mikey. That's right. The ring, Watts stalking Mac like prey. There's Big the hard right, right hand. Right hand right answered from, from Willie. Now Watts. Now Willie. Watts and Mac. Watts and Mac toe to toe. Nobody's budging in this matchup right now. Wow. Watts now. It's caught. Oh. He's hitting Cedric the Hitman with a big blow to Andrew Hellman's back with that briefcase on the outside. But Willie on the inside. Hellman's out. As Watts over the shoulder. Cedric now. Makes the save for Watts. Drop kick takes out the oh knee. But Willie Mack, who hits a big boot to the head from Jason Watts. Throws Cedric on top now. Cover two and a three count. Oh, listen to the stunned silence. The deafening silence of the fans here at the American Sports Center. They can't believe that Jason Watts, the number one contender, the next M1W champion, and Cedric the Hitman have just laid waste to the M1W champion, Willie Mack, and Andrew Hellman. It looks like a war zone. Bodies strewn all over the place, and we're used to seeing that standing tall in the middle of the ring, big nasty Jason Watts alongside Cedric the Hitman. The Hitman definitely caused a lot of damage here tonight with Watts, and I know that the two of them are in the upper hierarchy on singles rankings here at M1W, but I'll tell you this, Josh Waldrop, as much as I love natural selection, this is a damn good tag team we see right here. It really is. We can see a collection of belts around the waist of Jason Watts sooner rather than later. In my opinion, I've said it, I'll say it again. You're looking at the number one contender, the next M1W champion, that so many times we've seen it. Willie Mack laid out, flat of his back, decimated, and Jason Watts standing tall over him. And look at this. Now Jason Watts raises that belt high, foreshadowing what's to come. That Richie Angeles is your next M1W champion. I guarantee it. Andrew Hellman, it's like I'm reliving the same dream over and over and over again. Three weeks ago here at Friday Fight Night, Mach 1, Rathacon 2, here again tonight. The result has always been the same and will always remain the same. Where I win and you lose, where you're laying flat on your back, looking up at the lights. Willie, it took one day. It took one match after the ban got lifted for me to lay you out once again. Willie, what's it gonna take? What do I gotta do, Willie? Why do you keep running? That will happen to you each and every week until you give me what's mine, a shot at my Mach 1 title. Every week, until you do, you will suffer, Willie. You will suffer. 